Okay, so better shader organizations and just better shader management in general. Uh, right now, I don't actually have any shaders as part of the uh, repository. They're all kind of like here in the working directory. If I export and try to download this repository on another machine, I get nothing. And the fact is like they're just basically labeled test, which isn't very good. And there's no way to, there's no easy way to actually automatically build them, you know, the, the GLSL lang validator, blah, 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 blah. So I need to fix all those things. Uh, but first, actually, before I do that, I want to slightly modify th this initial fragment shader. Ver well, shader set program to draw a triangle like in the middle rather than this kind of bottom side thing I got going here. Not exactly the greatest. So, what I'm going to do right now is... Start with the vert, because right now all the vertex, vertex, okay, actually, before I even do that, um, GSL. Oh, right, I'm not using VS Code. They shut out um, the ability to look at things. So, uh, VS Code, GLSL. Do, 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 do. Extension. Marketplace. This looks about right. HLSL. Yeah, okay, I'll work with this. So if you're working on a, uh, like, VS Codium or Code OSS, which Microsoft has just, out of the kindness of their hearts, decided to just lock out other people from uh, uh, other non-VS Code-specific uh, from accessing the marketplace for whatever reason, even though this is like the exact same version, 151, yeah, 0.1 even. You can just still go to actually find it on the marketplace and download it. Okay. Should be able to just uh, find it. Do, 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 do. No, you can uh, install from VSIX, which is the format, GitLab runner. Go home, we go. Downloads, that. Should be there somewhere. Leave and come back. Or not, maybe it's just, oh wait, no, I do. It's right there, I'm, I'm getting the highlighting. Okay, what if I uh, just reboot, restart it? There it is. Okay, we have it. Um, I don't know, is that actually like adding formatting support? No. Okay, uh, GLSL. Um, not quite. Still don't see one for that. I can add it for this, maybe. A oh, CMake format. Ooh, not cool. Okay. I can add it. Uh, dot vert star dot frag at the moment. Right. Yes, that'll work for the time being. Okay. Um, what other shader types do we have? Uh, vertex, geometry. Okay, hold on. Start on uh, geometry. We've got fragment, we've got testcon, tcon. Okay, I'll just, those three, vertex, geometry, and fragment. I'm not really sure about mesh shaders. 
or tessellation control, tessellation eval, tessie, tessie. Start up test C. Ah, whatever. No, don't, 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 don't get ahead of yourself. Hmm. Set that back a little bit. Um. Okay, going back to this, change it around. So right now, negative one. Okay, one. Okay, negative zero point five. I'm pretty sure negative is on the left. If I, whoops. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Okay. V test. No, oh, no. Source? No, it's just in the root directory right now. Okay. Dash v test dot vert and outputs to test dot vert dot spv that run that again so moving that over to negative 0 0.5 1.0 is this side so one is down here okay so one one negative one one okay so zero negative five okay zero we got zero point negative zero point five that'll be up the middle then we got point five point five And then we have negative five by zero point five. Nope. Um, that'll be a middle triangle. Yeah. Looks terrible. But yeah, and it's just like relative to do 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 do. Yeah, okay. And this is just complaining about the changing. <clears throat> Hold on. Hmm. Okay. So at this point, I want to put these shaders into the data directory. And these are just sh basic shaders I used for the development of the engine, not for anything that we built on top. So <clears throat> start with um, Basic triangle, base color triangle, base. Um, rather, uh, vrag and vert go into shaders over here, move them through these guys. Simple try. Try to vert, try to frag. Um, let's slap on a copyright notice.
absolute of that. Right, does that work? Uh, data shaders. Simple try. Change that up in the application. It's a new location for these guys. So it's what? Um, data shaders. Absolute, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So something I'm going to want is the ability to, I don't want to have to like go around automatically um, recompiling shaders myself, like I've been doing here manually. That's, this is terrible. This is terrible. I am a computer guy. I'm a computer man. I'm the computer man. Uh, I'm going to automate this by using CMake, essentially. The idea being, I'm going to have some two simple scripts. One for uh, one for uh, uh, Windows via PS1 files, PowerShell files, and one for Shell. So that. And um, so uh, we're just going to go through um, hmm. I think I just have to like okay Shell. I don't need anything more complicated than the shell. So vertex shaders for what file in we're gonna find all files with a name that's like star. It basically ends in just vert. And I need it to actually not be literal, I need it to be Robin or whatever do and then it'll just like be the sign validator dash v we input the file and we output to ooh, in case it had spaces as well dot spv at the end of it and we need to do the same thing for all the others. So, translation control, translation evaluation, geometry, fragment, and compute. That's the other one I was thinking of. Um, frag. Geom Test E Test C Okay, those are the other ones I was thinking of uh, adding it down back here as well the geometry frag Vertex startup test e Testation control geometry fragment 
Mm -hmm. Go to ward shaders. Don't need it. We know what we're doing in here. Uh, to data. I need to make sure that's executable. Okay. Um, let's go into so that way. This is a set especially useful because I only want to uh, move copy around the the text versions. I don't want to do binary versions. Binary versions should always be recompiled on your machine. that okay let's do compile shaders sh we got these two guys wonderful now that's actually something i want to do is i want to ignore um Ignore spur v files. Lovely. Uh, we've got compiled shaders. I'll probably want to do the same thing on the Windows side. Uh, Child item, I believe, is how it hit him. The filter for file type. Go recursively. You pipe that into a for each object that's passed in. You run the subscript, which is we need the path of the shader relative to where I am. the item I'm, object I'm working on res goes into that resolve path is relative and then we do uh, toward, which is basically the same thing as path whoops shade a path let's do v And this will be for vertex. Let's see, can I start up Windows 10 pass through right now? I should be able to. Probably should have done this before. Okay. I'll do put that in. I'm not going to put more until I actually verify that that works. But in, I want to be able to do it automatically uh, as part of the build. So, <clears throat> going to If um, auto, if uh, not auto build, build shaders will have a little option. Build. Just in 
in case you don't have on. Actually, by uh, on or off, I'll go with on by default. Mm, I should check for GLS uh, Lang validator and determine if I'm going to build it automatically that way. But for the moment, let's get this 132. And we'll do for you uh, the others, which will be what? Really, it's Unix and Apple. But they both use shell. Basically, everything but Windows uses a shell, isn't it? Yeah, I can't really think of anything. It doesn't. Let me add a custom target for shaders. If I make shaders as a custom target. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, no, no. Yeah. Let's just do this. Current source directory, then that. And the working directory is where we are right now. And Windows will be the same thing, but PS1. No, it'll be PowerShell that. Just in case we're, we're on. Um, command prompt instead if anyone even uses that anymore command working directory um, and we automatically add hmm As a directory for data. Okay, we run through all that. We make shaders. Yes, Siri does that. Wonderful. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, that's for building shaders. What I want to do is build shaders. Um, I want these targets just for like a make, like a manual make shaders, like make format, make C, make format. But I also want to have one that automatically rebuilds shaders if they're updated. Like, like much like how like C make already does for source files. If I just like resave this file and then I hit make, then it's going to like, with the updated timestamp, it's going to rebuild that one file. I want the same thing to happen with the shaders as well. I want to be able to just modify or just hit save on the frag. And then as part of the regular make process, it'll also rebuild that. So I probably want to have it part of this. I don't know why this isn't formatting. Oh, it's turned off for whatever reason. Uh, 
um, actually, I guess I'll just file log curse. I'm not going to be too concerned because of the GLSL files. Um, star dot Bert, star dot Fred. Okay. Then go for each of these files. So file in a list of I want to add a target. I don't know if it's target or command. Let's try target. This we already have. The tar no target is like a specific thing. Like it only does that. I want um, executes target has no output and is always considered out of date. Yeah, I don't want to rebuild the shaders every single time. I want to only only when they are updated or modified with a new timestamp. which I think this one does instead. So we'll add a custom command. Um, okay, let me just do that, move to the side. Okay, what we got? Output, so output is the f file, which is pretty easy because it's just um, the geo, geo sl file dot svv. And always the command is similar to <clears throat> before, which geo validator dash v for the file. Is that dash o for? Okay. Byproducts depend. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't really depend on anything. Hmm. The primary input source file to the command. So this is, okay, this determines the f file. Okay, yeah, yeah. So main dependency is the file that it's checking the timestamp of. So And <clears throat> okay, what I'm going to do then is I'm also because right now it's not actually dependent on anything. So if I just hit make, it's not actually doing anything. Even if I remove these guys, right? Um, sh data shaders simple try dot spv. We have these two guys. Okay, we do this. We run make. Because he's not dependent on anyone. He's just off on the inside. So we need to like add him as a target sources of, let's say, the main program. This. Whoop. Of this file. Believe. Ooh, close. Hmm. 
Oh, because it, it needs to be the output. So it, detect, so it links this output as a source of this. When this guy is being built, he'll check the sources. And then you'll see this file and try to match it with all other outputs. Typically, it's a C++ file. And it'll do regular things. But instead, I have a custom command for the SPV files, which will hook into this command and run this guy. Right? No! In.SPV. Huh? Can I find source file in.spv? Um, what? Um, okay. Mm hmm. Failure. cell files we got this and this see we got both of them okay well, I don't know how to run for each I guess I just don't know how, know how to do for each Loop variable to items. Do 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 do. Mm, not quite. Close. Data GLSL file. Single, 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 single for each. Mm, range, range in lists, lists. For loop var in. List is a white space or semicolon. Okay, it's in lists. Come on. Loop var for each. GLSL file. In lists. GLSL files. Yeah, okay. Well, what's this? The items. The items following the items keyword and process as in the first variable for each command. In list, la 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 la. Am I? To make error at seventy. Okay, right now it's build shaders are on. So if I turn that off, it's fine. Okay. You're right, I can't find a source file because I haven't built it yet. But that's what... It's what the custom command is about.
I mean, obviously, no, I am going through the four each correctly. And I'm adding him to the target sources at the very least, but this add, him, add custom command isn't working. This is the right one, right? Okay. Um, okay, let's move this to the root directory. Maybe there's something odd that I don't really know about. What? Let's see, it, it built them. Okay, make. I save that again. It's going to rebuild the one. Okay, now it's just like any other source file. It builds itself correctly. That's great. I love it. But why does it have to be here? Can I put it back to here? make clean work no it doesn't work on that okay um, move them make now I can't find them again does it have to be in Whatever, I'll just put it in the root directory. I don't care that much. I want the functionality, even if it's been added in a really weird way. Um, option that. <laughs> RST shaders is that. It works fine if. Yeah, okay. Why am I losing bitrate? I'm not using. internet like at all just decided to start crapping out now I'm losing a whole bunch of frames check the stream settings it is 1080p right 1080p yeah that's great fucking rogers world's most garbage isp even in toronto can't even even in their own backyard they can't even deliver good internet Okay, whatever. Shaders. Wonderful. Fantastic. Um, so I just need the list of all the shader types. So we're going to do. Do, 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 do. So what we want is everything in data, and specifically for this. We can maybe re add. Well, <clears throat> hmm. I probably want to actually f put this in a little function. You just pass in all the shaders and then the target. Target, 
private chaters. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 I can work with that. Um, where, okay, at least for this stuff, I'm good, right? The shaders that were auto-generated, they're fine. That's great. Thumbs up on that one. Uh, I got the compile. I already tested the shell version. So now I need to, <clears throat> change over to the windows, do the same thing there. Log into that, do this. Um, let's make sure that's up. Let's open up console. Let's do looking last client. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Looking glass host. Yes, start you up. There we go. We're now up at the looking glass. Let's move that over. Okay. Um, do, do, do. Engine go there. Actually, just before I do that, <clears throat> let's actually push what I have. So we got that, 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 that. Got data for shaders. We got no root being updated for shaders and stuff as well. Shaders whip, cool whip. Push that up, and then let's bring him back over. Okay, <clears throat> let's move the mouse cursor down so I can actually, there we go. And that's uh, entry point. Set up MSVC for use. Come on, Rogers. You, 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 you can, you can send two megabits, five megabit, two, three megabit a second of internet up. It's not even a megabyte. Come on. Whatever. At least the recording will be fine. Um, got this. It's actually just like whoop. Can do that. Control Alt F. How do I full screen? Maximize, move the screen, more actions. Um, Alt F3, okay. Right, because uh, I reinstall, I updated uh, Visual Studio, so. Yes, I need to rerun C make. Can't do it that. But I can do it through here for whatever reason. No CC make, just C make. Oh my God, C make. Okay, uh, just run them all. Run it. And now I got zero kilobits. 
Okay, um, I got errors for other reasons. Oh, for, oh my god, Windows in your debugging garbage. Debug. Okay. You happy? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I actually brought in... No, I did build them. I just missed it. There's no freaking coloration. Yeah, there it is. So it works. Uh, well, the individual one works. Does the this uh, work? Yeah. Okay, we just... Um... Okay, I'm happy with that then. Let's get out of full screen. Whoop. Swap back. So we'll just copy and paste that for all the shader types. Tessellation, tessellation, geometry, fragment, compute. Evaluation, tessellation, compute. Got all that. Yeah, add that on top. Okay, okay. Now, this is a bit janky. Not really a fan of this. I don't want to have this in the root. I want to parse it out into a separate function I can reuse. Because while this is plenty fine for um, the thing, the shaders that may be specific to like the engine application, I want to also have like a function that I can reuse. Like if faux graphics as part of a test has like s separate shaders just for the tests and stuff, I want to have them instead of attaching everything to the main engine i want to have them attach a different type target types which means um which means i need to figure out how to do that <clears throat> real quick like so let's start with uh, what's something that has a bunch of good options prepare cache does yes move them over target shaders will kind of follow the same thing <clears throat> with a set of options We have options. I don't think we have options. We do have. I need more than that. Who has a bunch of items? Doxygen has a bunch of options, maybe. Single value, multi value. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. where we're going to have the items that are provided from here. Um, <clears throat> actually, no. The best one I actually have is the... Uh, not the, this. It's the code coverage one. This has a whole... This is exactly what I want. Like... Um, 
we start with the target that we have. Add custom target, add da, 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 target code coverage, like this. Target name, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Target name. And then we'll have, you know, like the multi value keywords, which are public, and private. I think those are the other ones for, um, because these are going to be like target sources linked in that way. Let's see what we got. Target sources. Interface as well. Interface, public, private. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and the stream's just completely lost. Good job. Good job, Rogers. You suck. I'm downloading plenty. Single value keywords, multi value keywords. I'm not using them all. It's good enough for me. Do we, hmm. Public, private. Okay, we'll just do like four each. Uh, we'll do it correctly. QLSL in lists of what is it? It's um, target shaders interface. And four each. Why is it not formatting anymore? Are you serious? You 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 broken now? Or whatever we'll do this we add the custom command for it and then we'll have like target sources this qsl file interface that and we basically do the same thing for the other two so public and then private and then that's that's it Target GLSL shaders. So we'll just kind of like this. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Public. Bam, bam, and we got private. Bam, bam. Wind warning, really? Okay, just. Okay, well, that explains uh, why I wasn't uh, formatting anything. I had a wrong, uh, incorrect 
underscore to dash. My own bad. My bad. Everything else is good. Uh, yes, file, 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 file. So what I want to be able to do is I want to do this. So I want to do like um, target JLSL. Uh, not that, it'll be target name. That, that, that. So target JLSL files, bam. I'm going to go foe engine and it's going to be private and it's going to be all of these guys. Do it. Do it. We're going to like catch that out. <clears throat> Ooh, so close. But not close at all, really. Okay. Okay, capitalization error. Uh, if I resave this, uh, I don't see it at all. Terrible. Arm them. Okay. Nope. It's not been added. Yeah. Come on. Do we got? Okay, well, we got CMake, do 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 do. GLSL files. Oh, I'm missing R again. My bad, as usual. There they are. Lovely. Okay, um, <sighs> okay, uh, let's leave it there for the moment. Let's um, find, find program, find, uh, I'm adding. This like that. Does that work? Unless I'm just wrong. No, I found it. I found it all right. It's just not quite.
if that, then this other uh, screw it just assume it's always on you can turn it off yourself No, 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 no. Actually, we can do something about this. Hmm. No, I'll do it. Else. And if. Oh, I'm back online. Hmm. Rogers decided to, to learn how to internet again. Nice. Validator. Validator. This guy right there. If that, that. Otherwise that. Hmm. Hmm. No, 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 no. Actually, uh, I can do this better. Leave this here as a simple thing. Leave it on by default. We'll have a file in here that's like GLSL shaders. I'll see make. Um. Grab all this, but it's twenty twenty. Paste, uh, copy this in, add in, okay, wonderful, we got this, we got all this stuff. That. Okay, um, back up. The external. We're in. Sorry, not not here. Uh, C make. Okay. Get uh, go to main. Go to the latest. To be like from uh, a couple weeks ago. There will be something I want to try to figure out for cleaning. How can I clean these files? Hmm. Not sure.
Okay, one thing I want to do is a little bit of... Uh... Oh yes, then I can do this up here instead. GLSL Lang. And then we also want to put this where we find this. Here. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Just in case it's in a really weird location. not this, then we're going to want to put out a fatal. that okay up here we'll have we don't actually have it for whatever reason hmm. just not even going to try or what Does it still? No, it doesn't work anymore. It's all dead. Ugh, not good. Message. Fatal error, that's probably why. Or just send error. No, okay. <sighs> why, what, 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 what did I do? What did I break? Why is it broken now? Why? I just, it was just working a moment ago. Why? Oh, let me guess. I didn't even have a building. Okay, you know what? Um, clear it. By default, it's on, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Looking for blue, looking for blue. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Do 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 ba 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 bam 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 ba da 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 da. We're all back online. Make. Ooh, very close. Hmm. Can 
Copy all geos. So and validate or if not found. Cannot compile. Compile. Oh, shouldn't be build shaders. Should be compile shaders. Yeah. Okay. Cannot compile. Really? I mean, toggle advanced mode, thank you. GLS. Oh, come on. How many of these are there? User bit. Oh, I know. If not that. Ugh. There we go. Right there. Wonderful. Now, uh, GLSN validator. Let's have a bunch of other options. Hmm. So we're also going to want to actually be able to provide the ability to pass these options through. Um, interface, public, private, options. Options. So we're going to want to like do this. Compile options instead of interface like that. Yes, yes, and yes. That as well. Um, something that'll fail hard. Dash X. Save binary upload as text based. Interesting. Um, let's do that. them all okay uh, redo this stuff it's not even there is it just disappeared dash X no such file or directory huh
Oh, yep, 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 yep. You are correct. Yes! I can pass the options in now. Okay. That's basically as much as I think I'll do for this at the moment, anyways. Compile options. Get rid of the message. Okay. One, two, three. Acquired. Compilation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it's not quite this. I want to go with dependency, code coverage, maybe. Yeah, this. This for interface, public, private. So 
So we'll see everyone compile options. Let's see if there's any like major overloads I should be aware of. Compile options. List of options to pass to the compiler. This actually does make a lot of sense. Mm. I'll leave it as compile options. Files, files. To the call. To the GLSL and validator. shader file okay um, as part of this for targeted can be We'll do that and then we'll want to actually, while I'm doing this, I want to add it to <clears throat> read me at the same time. So, do, 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 do I have? I think I do. Table of contents? Yes, I do actually have it. Up to date, not exactly sure what was different. Nothing, seemingly. Um, hmm. Compiler options, G, let me see. I'll put it for, for Doxygen. Da, 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 doxygen, compiler options, dependency graph. Compiled catch. Optional arguments. Hold on, let's. I'm going to put it right here. Go right here. There it is. OK. Which would just basically be uh, almost a copy paste of this. arguments. One, two, three, four.
private public private interface this stuff moving around uh, since since see the last I need to get a spell checker on this and grammar checker hmm Target, compile commands, target code coverage. Hmm. What have got up here? Okay, we'll just. Uh, it was here. That interface files. Ba Bam. Public files. Private. Same thing again. File options. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Do 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 do. Oh, I need to attach the uh, file. No, GSLA, GS, GLSL shaders. That. Whatever. Example usage. What are we going on? We're going on an hour and a half. So another half hour. I should have this done and squared away. Lib will make it a bit more clearer. Compile options, and we'll have like a uh, uh, validator hmm. target environment. Let's say. Just kind of like the target of a target environment. Vulcan 1.2. Or that. Something like that. And then we'll add that to the README as well. 
I can re find it right there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's see what else we got for. No, it's just generic. Okay. Back tick him. Back tick him. And then this will be part of like the twenty twelve version of C Make Scripts. Right? Where is it? It's down here somewhere. There it is. Shader files. Libraries. C files. Added a bunch of stuff. Added readme. Okay, I'm just going to call it good with that. If it works right now, hold on. Um, I'll roll with that. Actually, make sure to clear it all again. Actually, no, no. Oh, I don't even have them there. Oh, okay. And then they're built. Okay. Yes, that's actually one thing I did want to try. Uh... Oh, oh no, Make Clean does do it automatically already. Oh, sweet. Yes. Fantastic. I... Did it without even realizing it. Fantastic. I don't even have to do anything else. Okay, I am perfectly happy with pushing that up then. Um, 
I can just do it via here. Push it up. Go. Go away. Be up there. Okay, we have this. And then we have... This will be part of the F as well. Because we did do that. We got rid of that. We kind of pushed it all down like this. there leave it up there for now f and f that as well actually one two three four okay let's uh squish it all down Okay, I want to reword this one. GLSL. Shakers. No, oh, something was delivered. Hold on. Okay, sweet. Um, display port was delivered. Well, I didn't even realize it. Hmm. This is not Java. This is C++. Well, this specifically is C make, but the application in general is C++. <clears throat> no, I have very little Java. I haven't touched Java since a decade. So I have no idea about Java, basically. Other than I didn't really like it, but that was also when I was in university, and so probably a negative connotation from that. But no, C++ and C. Um, okay. Oh, right, I was writing a message. Um... the shaders it's all building it's all good it's all together and I'm gonna get a triangle wonderful triangle one of the greatest triangles come on yes and then if I was to delete them again 
um, data shaders. Yeah, we'll delete these two. So the SPVs are no longer available. Try to run it right now. It'll crash because they don't exist. Right. Or fair, fail or error out somehow. No, it's actually going to build it. Run it. Oh, uh, sorry. Hold on. What? Oh, right. Because it automatically builds it. Yeah, it automatically builds it as part of the debug process. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that one. So let's move that back in. that out let's remove the branch from the remotes gfx shaders actually the pipeline failed why gls uh, lang validator command not found really on my images don't have uh, what? Hold on. Um, do, 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 do. Back, back, back. Um, this one. Yeah, this should have this should have JLS online validator. It doesn't. Oh wow! So I can't build shaders automatically in here. And I should be able to. And building the shaders should actually be part of the process to make sure I can, I'm actually putting in compilable shaders, whether uh, even on the slightly older systems. So um, update. I'm going to have to update the images, I guess. Uh, okay, so who did have GSL Lang Validator? Windows and Mac OS did, right? Okay. Actually, let me just put this. Uh, pull this up right now. Do 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 do. Close. Pull the latest pipelines. It was this graphics shader. Uh, so Windows had it. Apart from I don't. Whoa, he failed. Why? Oh, something else. Okay. Okay, this was just a failure for some other reason. But the rest of them are just Ubuntu and Fedora images don't actually have GLS Lang, GLSL Lang validator. So I need to pull those up. Let us, let me main back up, back up, back up, forward build images. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're here. Actually, for the moment, um, no. Uh, DNF, sorry, DNF search, DLS Lang. It's probably just something I have to, like, I just need that. I don't think I need a DLS Lang. Hopefully it's not too much to pull in. Two megs. Um, okay. Fedora builds, CD Fed builds, you know what to do. Make them all. See, this doesn't even have. Oh my god, the Docker images don't have that garbage about EN UTF-8. 
Maybe it's a Z uh, shell thing. I need to look at that for Z shell then. Whatever. Yeah, and they build. But they're built as part of. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's one, and then we'll. Uh, Docker, don't really care about all this stuff. Do this. Um, what is it? Uh, apt. Okay. Grab the lists. Apt search. Ubuntu, G, L, S, L, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So it'll be first. Wow, nine megabytes. Nice. Absolute. Wow. Why? Smurfy and the tools. Yeah. Okay. Okay, is it like a version? Uh, eight thirteen five five nine. What do I have? Several versions behind. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Well, as long as it works, I'm happy. So although uh, these Windows already has it, Mac OS already has it, so we'll just do this. We'll add it to these guys. Added. I want to do for this right now. The answer is I'm on an hour and 50 minutes. So I'll call it here. I've got I've added shaders. I've got them automatically building and rebuilding as required. And I've got CI CD for them as well. And I've got manually explicit make shaders target. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. That's quite an improvement. So I'll call it there. Cheers.